What's up, everybody? Blue Gay. We're still in San Augustine. We're still with Tugboat Trash himself. It's so weird introducing <laughs> you as Tugboat Trash. We'll get to that story later. He's a tugboat captain. He started his Instagram years ago, and I guess Tugboat Trash is an inside deal? Yeah, yeah. If you work in the industry, it makes a little bit more sense. If you like cooking and you like the outdoors, you're going to want to follow him on TikTok and Instagram. Trust me when I say he's got some interesting stuff on there. So this is my pro drive. All of y'all have seen it a hundred times. We brought this up here to go flounder gigging and we went flounder gigging last night, but it was blowing so hard. We just filmed B-roll. We actually gig three nice flounder and I'm going to show y'all right now. That's what I'm talking about, old son. First flounder. I should have brought my cooler with the flounder off. Yeah, what is that? That's the only reason I brought you. <laughs> Didn't that happen last time? All right, we got to move some drinks around. Not the best shot I've ever made in my life. But you were swimming when I saw him. That's what I was like. I started freaking out. Once the power poles went down, I was like, get him, get him, get him. Slimy. There he is, folks. Think off the boat. There he is. Look how beautiful they are. Spotted. Changing colors and stuff. That's so cool. If you're just tuning into my channel, don't ever stick your finger in a flounder's mouth. I did that one time about four years ago. It's no bueno. one of them spicy flounders. <laughs> spicy. There he is. Got him. Yeah, it looks good. Oh yeah. That'll Flounder eat. number two. That'll eat. In the gator cooler. Got him. I don't know where to go. Maybe it's a mod. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Put him down. Put him down. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Just keep him there and I'll back the boat. I knew it. Hold on, don't pick him up. Oh my god. Talk Let's... about Well we thought that was one and then I saw it right at the end and I'm like, no, that's not one. And then It's moss. It's moss. Moss. I don't know how good I got him. Hold on, hold on, let me car pull down. You got him good in the head, but I don't know how it it's stuck in him. I can see his guts. Oh big it. <laughs> Big old biggin. Talk about that was perfect. Well, we got three. That was so funny. <laughs> we just did a big turn and I didn't even slow down. I'm like, yeah, it's moss. And he just took a wild shot at him and oh it's flipping. Nah, that was like an eagle eye shot right there in the head because I knew it was one for sure. <laughs> you got part osprey in you or what? No, I, I thought it was moss too, but I was like, well, I'm gonna stick it just so I know in my head. Just give it a little poke. I learned a long time ago, it's worth gigging stuff that kind of looks like a flounder. When I first started going, I would do stuff like, I would just like kind of poke it to see if it was a flounder. And I've watched huge flounders swim off. <laughs> that just shows how helpful power poles and a good trolling motor are. Oh, that would have been a Chinese fire drill on my boat. You always got to keep that gig pinned down until you get the boat just right or they'll flip off. Yeah, he would have come off too. I didn't have them all that great. And the other thing too is like swinging them like that if you're not sure and then get them straight up and down so their weight holds them down. I've seen people like get them and hold them out like that mm. and they'll come off and flip go right, right in the off. water. The question is, how did you head shoot that one reaching way out and guessing but you gut shot the one that was straight for loving? I mean, keep it interesting. He was 
things up there in the grass. We on our way to a fish fry. Yep, we produce. Got our gator coolers full of ice. And we've got three, ooh, his guts are hanging out. Three nice flounder to cook for y'all later in this video. Right now though, we're gonna do something a little bit interesting. Kelly feels like going shopping. We're here in St. Augustine and it's a real touristy area and there's tons of cool shops that she's gonna go shop at. And Ian and I are gonna take his little SS Minnow. What's <laughs> it, 14 foot long? It is 14 foot. And we're going to an area, a lake that you can only have a 10 horsepower or smaller and we're going after mega huge trout, saltwater trout that are actually in this sort of freshwater reservoir type deal. And it's actually where Jake caught a 30 incher, my 11 year old, about two years ago, we brought him up. His first trout ever was 30 inches long. And we're gonna go try to beat him because he's gotten a little big for his britches <laughs> since that day. Cause he's actually now beat me on the last bass tournament and he's beat me on a trout. So we've left him at home and we're going and Kelly's going to take her camera and she's going to go shopping. So we're going to see how this unfolds. I'm going to show you a little bit of her shopping versus us fishing. See, we're going to go spend a little bit of money and bring home dinner. There's no telling what she's going to go spend a lot of money on and what she's going to bring home. So we'll see y'all at the lake. We're excited. It's sunny. It's about 78 degrees. The trout should be biting and hopefully we catch some big ones. We'll see y'all at the boat ramp. Now that Blue Gabe and Ian are headed out to go fish, I'm going to take a really relaxing day, going to go get some coffee, and shop around for some coastal decor. So, here we go. Let me introduce to y'all the SS Minnow, right here in Northeast Florida. You guys, we ain't got much wiggling room on here. Ian? Whoa, Ian. This thing's Whoa. A yacht. Is it going to start, though? It's going to start. Oh, yeah. Listen to her purr. She's purring, y'all raw power baby i could only imagine if i had this boat growing up the damage i would have done to the fish population in south florida we're ready to rock i think we got like a two mile run and we'll be fishing what what's she top out at about 50 50 55 it's it a little scary after that oh boy he said 55 miles an hour we're gonna have to hold on first stop was around the world marketplace i'm headed to the coffee shop right now and they had a lot of cool stuff in there a lot of wood carvings which i absolutely love but unfortunately we don't really have a lot of area to put wood carvings um but they did have this sign with like an alligator crocodile on it that i'm going to get on my way back to the car because we don't have anything with an alligator or a crocodile on it so i'm gonna get that for gabe fingers crossed it's still there when i come back but now we're headed to go get some coffee. Already? That's a good one. A good old good one. You guys, we ain't even but just got started. Kelly's still shopping, y'all. It's the trout. Oh, yeah. Do we bring a net? Oh, it's a little red. Oh, that's an eating red. Yeah. Over the rail and in the pail, y'all. What size do they gotta be to keep? 18 inches. He is probably gonna be a little bit short. We'll see. He's a little short. We're gonna let him go to fight another day. 16 and a half inches, buddy. Come back when you're bigger. Y'all can see we got the old salties cock locked and ready to rock. I've got the whole bow of the boat cut off like a cast net. And then of course he eats way over there where I'm not. That place smells so good. I'm gonna go to St. Augustine Coffee House. Let's check it out. Boys, look at here, look at here. We got us a wall hanger. Oh yeah. Oh, he's little. That's bait though. Oh, you like this for bait? Yeah. We'll quarter that up and use that. Oh, yeah. You guys, I sure hope Kelly is 
buying me something nice at the store because we ain't catching very many fish. I caught a fish. He still's not letting go of it. Oh, they're mean. I got my bait back. The St. Augustine Fort is right ahead of me right here. Check that out. All the cannons are up there too. We're gonna go this way first. Let's keep on walking. So this shop has some cool painted like hangable pots, which I love. I just don't feel like carrying around a pot right now. Look at all of them. Oh, look at the frog. I love that one. So I found this really cute bowl with a little hedgehog on it, but I'm not really quite sure what it does. It just sits on the side of the bowl and it has holes on it. I don't know. Well, you guys, I can't catch a redfish, but I can catch a blue crab. <laughs> I actually wanted to do a blue crab video and my captain here said that the blue crabs are all in the mud right now. Well, unless I have a piece of grass on. <laughs> Why is he swimming that away? You sure it's a crab? Unless it's a stinger. Oh, he just came off right oh. there. That was definitely a blue crab. Dang it. Hey, y'all, we're, we're getting ready to watch a beautiful sunset. We don't care if we catch fish or not. We're just out here enjoying life. As you already know, we got three flounder to eat for dinner, and that's more than enough. And guess what? We got two dozen shrimp that we bought for bait that I guarantee you I will clean and put on those flounders. So we really can't lose no matter what. <laughs> Unless Kelly uses my entire limit on my credit card, then we'll be losing. This one is the Nature's Legacy Organic and Recycled Leather Goods Gifts and Gallery this place looks good. Once again, I found another crocodilian artwork piece. Check this out. It's a local artist here in St. Augustine and it's so unique and I've never seen a print or drawing like this before and it suits us perfectly. Definitely knew I was gonna find something in that shop. Uh -oh. Got him, got him. There I'm he trying is. to put my sock on. That's a trout, son. He's swimming at the boat. They're famous for that. Oh, nice fish. You got the net? Oh, no. I got the camera. He's coming in. He's coming in the boat. We got one in the boat. Right at dark, son. Right at the ringer. Right at the ringer. Is he a keeper? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going we're gonna to have us some trout for dinner tonight. Do that taste test. Trout versus flounder. Look at his mouth though. Oh, snaggle tooth. Now show him the sunset. It don't get no prettier, folks. We had about five more finit five more minutes to fish. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe's over here freezing trying to put his socks on. If you guys ever wonder where I get my socks, Everglades Fishing Company makes the best socks ever, and they have American flag colors. I'll actually put the link in the description below. I never have because I don't wear a ton of socks, but when I do, I wear these. And he's an awesome dude. He's from Everglades City, Florida. Such an awesome dude. He actually owns his own beer company in a really cool bait and tackle shop in Everglades City. These socks are really cool though. They've got all different kinds. Half the time I look, Kelly's wearing them. She ganks my socks. I cannot let this slimy thing get on my shrimp though. Stay in there and don't flop. We're only going to keep one. So we will see y'all back at Mr. Ian's house where we're going to do whole grilled flounder and speckled sea trout. So I just left the little downtown shopping area and there was music here and there so I couldn't really film too much of it. But I found some really unique things. There was this one shop that had a lot of fossils, dinosaur stuff, shark teeth, like it was pretty incredible. I actually spent some time in there really looking and just looking at the details of the fossils and reading 
that stuff to me is just fascinating. I'm a little winded because I just walked up this hill, but I'm walking over to the fort here in St. Augustine right now. As you guys can see, the sun's going down. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. It's actually a really nice day out. I thought it was going to be a lot windier considering last night when we went fish gigging. It was like blowing 20, <laughs> but check it out how beautiful it is right now. So as the sun's going down, the temperature is dropping. Just put on my hoodie and I'm gonna sit here at the fort with the sunset and eat this really good looking piece of mushroom and pepperoni pizza. It's 68 right now. It's gonna get cold. <laughs> but I didn't go overboard on the shopping because I am trying to save money, Blue Gabe and myself, even though Blue Gabe just bought a side-by-side. -side. I don't know. We're supposed to be downsizing and saving money and it's inevitable. Good news is she didn't spend all my money. Now check out this right here. Look at this. I've said it in tons of videos before. I think Flounder have the nastiest teeth of any fish. Like that right there, I don't know if any fish have teeth as bad as they do. So all I did was take some regular olive oil and massage it in. Take in some black and red fish seasoning via Ian's request. He's over here, look at him filming. They're, they're filming me filming this. <laughs> YouTubers in the wild. <laughs> Ian said he's gonna start his own series. I'm YouTubers right. in the wild. I'm going really, really light with the seasoning. Not much at all. Now, obviously, this is the belly of a flounder. All I did outside was scaled it. Cut some diamonds in it. That's it. Gutted it and took the gills out. See that? So we can pick all the head meat. There's absolutely zero waste on this fish. Flip it over. Now, I do need to rub olive oil on it. So I guess I can show you all how I did it. Just put a little bit in my hand. You want to get it in all those cracks so the skin doesn't stick because we're putting it directly on the grill. Which one was the surprise flounder that we didn't know? This biggest one. Oh wow, really? <laughs> yeah, that's the mo we're gonna that call was the him, moss. We're calling him Mossy Back. <laughs> I completely didn't think he was. I like never crossed my mind that it was a flounder once I turned and looked at it. I don't know though. Well, by now y'all know because you've seen the footage. I haven't seen the footage. I haven't looked at it yet how good we got it on film because we were all sort of in a daze. It was late at night. We hadn't got going just yet with the camera when he threw out a Hail Mary with the gig. <laughs> a little bit more black and red fish. Ian's got the grill at four, like 450 because we want to cook it hot and fast. Just like that. Now once I'm done, I'm going to make a butter lemon sauce and put it on. So let's go put it on the grill. Look at that though. Doormats. Who has an oyster rug though, y'all? <laughs> you know you love eating oysters if you have an oyster rug. Come on, Miss Bianca. Okay, here we go. Pete the pelican. He's got this trigger cooking, boy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat all this fish. We also flayed the trout. We don't need to put him on yet though because it's only going to take a second. Kelly's going for the bird's eye approach. Sort of like when a pelican's diving on a fish. Right now that's where she's going for. Which Ian's not very tall so you don't have to get very high to go over him. <laughs> <laughs> Come right here and let's see if we can attempt it. I'm going to try to not break him up. Look at that though. Look how per oh. oh no! The headless flounder. I knew that was gonna happen. Look. The headless flounder. I hope you're hungry, Ian. I'm starving, dude. That looks so cool. The checkerboard flounder. This really is my favorite way to eat flounder. So this is the trout that we just put on. It actually needs another probably couple minutes, but the flounder was taking up most of the grill. We'll let this zucchini cook for about five minutes. We got garlic bread and we will see y'all. Oh my goodness. We will see y'all at the table. Oh no. You lost one. 
Once again. Man down. I got him back. We'll see y'all at the table in just a minute. Bianca. Mm-hmm. But can you smell that? It smells so good. I'm so Smells excited like to some this. flounder. First, though, let me ask the blessing. I haven't done it in a while, and a bunch of y'all have been giving me some heck. Just because I don't say it on camera don't mean we don't say it. So let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for all this amazing food and all these amazing friends we meet along this crazy YouTube journey. Mm -hmm. Thanks for always keeping us healthy, and thanks for sending your son to die on the cross for all of our sins. Amen. 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 Okie dokie. All right, Bianca, okay. here's your piece of fish. Cool, cool, cool. That's all you get. And this is the rest for us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to give Ian some trout. It's trout. What do you think? Not so good. Oh, that's good. It's hot. Most and importantly, y'all, look what I got for my girl, though. Oh, gosh. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, I should say girls because there's two of them right now. Or three. Oh, wait, what is it? Because. Oh. All these women are so good to us. I got her some chocolate covered strawberries oh, for after dinner. Yummy. Look at Yum. that. Now I can fix y'all's plate. <laughs> How's it, how is it though, Bianca? I'm going to say this. I'm not going to say, say it's good. Already. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm going to say <laughs> Ian got some competition. Ian got some competition. <laughs> Remember that. Delicious. Oh, that cheek just fell apart. I'm trying to. Got, I was trying to get the girls a cheek. Let me get that little piece of skin off. Here, babe, try this. Real quick. <laughs> oh. Where's your fork? Your fork. Right. I was going to get you this other one. I think. Mm. That's really good. No, he got the small That's good. Side. Oh, okay. Camera. All right, you guys, you've seen it. It's good. You knew it was going to be good before I even started. If it wasn't good, we'd lie and say it was. So hey, we're in a win-win situation. The next time you see me, I'll be in the black belt of Alabama deer hunting with my dad and some awesome new friends that we met. I think that's it though, until I get there. We still gotta show them our computers. Y'all think we live this glorious life? Kelly was literally editing when we got home today and I'll edit once I get done doing the dishes tonight, probably till two in the morning just to catch up. But we all work. Y'all work, we work, we all work. We'll catch you in the next one. Like Jake always says though, time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.